Okay, so in today's video, we'll be showing how to simulate um, like a tank. We'll be basically showing how to simulate the flow, um, like the level rising. Like say if you were you were testing a system and you wanted to make sure that the system functioned correctly, then you would have to write logic behind that to drive that, you know, as far as the simulation if you did not have um, the proper, like say if you didn't have the stuff installed already. So this is a way to test it in the meantime so that you can kind of verify that your logic is working correctly. So what I did is I threw it threw together kind of a dummy screen right here and um, we'll kind of just go off of that. Note that this um, this indicator right here, this black bar will be your fill point and we'll be controlling it with the start and stop. It's basically like a batch tank if you would. So to look at the logic real quick, we'll, uh, we'll basically show what I've done. Um, I didn't want to do this all at, <coughs> excuse me, all at once uh, during a, a video being, it, you know, it's kind of extensive. So normally you would have just the, the weight coming in um, to the uh, analog input and it would put out a, basically a, uh, you know, the tank weight. But what I've done is I've added uh, basically a tank simulation, like a batch simulation inside of this. Instead of the simulation is on, then I want to use a selector, which is basically the batch weight. Again, uh, using that batch uh, tank weight simulate on, I'm going to say, okay, if this is okay and one of these situations is good, right, one of these right here, then again so if if any one of those are good and the batch simulation is on which it is then i want to start the counter or it's a timer that timer is going to time out and every time it does it's going to reset itself but when it does it's going to basically come down here and go through go through and count up or count down and in the case of what we're doing, it's going to be counting up. So when it counts up, again, right here, it's going to produce a number, you know, one, it's going to indicate, you know, one, two, three, four, five. It's going to keep progressing it like a normal counter would. And we're going to multiply that number by 25 to get our simulated batch weight. Now, the rest of the logic over here is... Uh, not part of the system, uh, the, the simulation of this, but uh, just note that the simulation portion is basically, you know, this this stuff right right in the corner, right here and down. Um, so you'll see all this stuff, you know, working together. So what we'll do, uh, we'll go ahead and start the batch okay so the batch is started and as it goes through uh, it's going to go through a couple couple processes that you can't see right now but you see the the indication pop up and then you see the bar start climbing right so if we look at the logic what's happening is it's counting right so um, it's saying basically that this is able to have a one and go through to the next and the, again all this is function block so this is good to the point where the timer can time out and every time the timer times out it's going to reset be uh, via this bracket right here so as it goes through, it's going to come down and say, as soon as it gets done, it's when and this is not running, it's going to basically come down and index a 1 down to the counter. Right? So in the counter, it's basically counting up. 
and it's multiplying that by 25. So that's the simulated batch weight that it's producing over here. And that's transitioned through the selector, being that we're in the batch, uh, the batch simulate mode. It's transitioning to feed the uh, raw input, and then it's going through and producing our, our tank weight. So right now it's 770 pounds, 800 pounds, if we looked at our, uh, our scale. So it's actually going up. So you, you see that this is working correctly. And the purpose of this, and again, this is kind of a, a bland application. I don't, you know, to show the full application would be um, kind of proprietary to what I'm doing. So I, I kind of want to just keep it as simple as possible. So I'm just showing a tank and the simu simulation of the tank and the weight. So again, um, this is just in, in reference to show the fact that if you needed to test something and you, you needed, like say you didn't have the actual devices, the physical IO devices that were there, you could simulate it based upon the, the same principles. And you just have to put in some kind of, you know, some logic behind it driving the, the, you know, the situation. So in this, again, um, so it's, it's constantly uh, filling at this point and making a batch. So it's still counting, still going through its process. Um, and again, so this is using a batch simulation and, and basically just showing the, the factors of using a simple counter or si simple timer with scenarios that are on to enable that timer to go through and say up or down with a counter and take the counter through a multiplier that would multiply it fast enough for you to see a uh, end result. You know, so what we could do it if you were multiplying one by one. Uh, basically, it would it would be so slow that it would be kind of hard to read. Um, being that we're multiplying by twenty five, it's a lot faster. So you see the tank is rising a lot faster, and you know, it'll sit there and, and go through um, its process. So uh, again, I just wanted to kind of show uh, that, you know, there's a, a lot of ways to uh, basically test your systems and make sure they're working uh, without having a cookie cutter system that say, for instance, Rockwell would be, you know, supplied or, or uh, you know, kind of, you know, they do a lot of uh i would say sample projects and stuff of that nature but in this you know in this case you know you, if you're making something proprietary to what you're doing and you want to test it um basically you know and you don't have the hardware or nothing like that you can go in and, and basically uh you know put some simple logic in here and, and just kind of get creative and you know make some things happen to make sure that you know things are tested properly and you can kind of get ideas off of Rockwell's uh, sample code if you wanted. Um, and this token right here, I mean, I didn't really kind of go off anything like that. I just went basically um, just kind of threw something together. I mean, it was pretty simple. Again, it was just if this and this, let a timer come on. Every time the tim timer times out, um, basically index. So one down to my counter. When my counter is good, it basically comes down and uh, when it indexes up or wherever it's at, it multiplies by 25 and that's my batch weight. Uh, at the current state that it's in, uh, you see that it's not moving. It's in a stop state, uh, being that uh, there's a part of the process that I'm not showing right now, uh, which is a mix mixing time. So basically it's hit its point and it's actually mixing right now. And at that point where it mixes, it's going to start discharging. So I can uh, go in the code and actually, uh, well, let's just for the sake of it, uh, for the sake of it, let's just end the video here. Um, what will happen in the next uh, 
after about 15 minutes because it will cycle through 15 minutes of uh, mixing time. Then basically it will start, uh, it will flip flop down to this section, which will do a down and it will count down. So it'll basically reverse the scenario and you'll see the weight start dropping right here. So, and this is just using an analog, you know, analog input. Uh, so basically this is something that uh, is pretty common um, with the process objects. So again, I just wanted to show, you know, basically the, uh, the result of, uh, of a batch station, you know, our, our simulation logic for a batch station, if you would. You know, so uh, I didn't want to get too far in, in depth with, uh, you know, uh, the rest of the code. Again, it's kind of proprietary, but I did want to, uh, to illustrate the fact that if you needed to test something, you know, there's, there's pretty simple ways you can do things and, um, you know, just make sure that, you know, you, you kind of go through it and think through it methodically and, and it, you know, it will all work out. Uh, but, you know, this is just how I, I was able to simulate a, um, uh, a tank weight or batch process. So again, hopefully that was kind of helpful. Um, I know you didn't get to see me create all this, um, but you can kind of see how it's done. Um, you know, watch the video a couple times if you need to see how the timer works. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of you guys are, uh, you know, vet seasoned veterans in this stuff. So this is pretty common stuff. It's, it's you know, just a, a, basically a timer resetting itself, uh, coming into a counter, and then multiplying it and then feeding a uh, analog device. So, um, you know, like I said, it's not, not real complicated at all. Um, just wanted to kind of, you know, throw a video out there and show how, uh, how things are done. Okay. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, again, sorry, I couldn't show you the whole system. It's rather nice. <laughs> it's rather nice. Um, it's put together really well. Uh, maybe, maybe one day I will. Uh, but right now, uh, not gonna, not gonna show it because it's pro proprietary to what I'm doing. So, uh, again, thank you for your time and, um, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Maybe I could kind of branch off and show some different things about it. Um, there's some alarming and stuff of that nature that I think would be beneficial. So again, um, thank you.